get fucking daddy. If you were me though, I would get zaddy with a Z, not a D. Don't even come at me for this makeup. I know it's crusty. I got back from Stop. work. These lips look like that bitch from Spongebob. I don't want to get it on. I got it all over your teeth. <gasps> Megan. I'm just a mediocre YouTuber who somehow manages to bullshit out some decent content and play it off cool, you know? I have a pen that looks like a syringe full of blood in one hand and a floss pick in the other. <laughs> hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to my channel. Unless you guys have never seen me before, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about lip tattoos. I thought I'd just let you guys know what's up, you know? I guess I'm just gonna start out by telling you guys, when I got my lip tattoo, it was by this dude in his house. I was 16 years old. There's nothing much more to say about that. The pain, it honestly felt exactly like, this is gonna sound really fucking weird, but just bear with me. It felt exactly like a cat's nail, just like scratching into my lip. It lasted about a minute and a half at most. He fast. He fast. <laughs> he did that shit real quick. <laughs> yes. When it was healing, it honestly felt as if it was a little raised it honestly, it felt like a cut in your mouth to where it was like raised, but it didn't hurt. It was the easiest tattoo of all three of mine, which I have one on my right foot, I have one on my left ankle, and then I have the one on the inside of my lip. By far, this one was the easiest in terms of pain, and it was the easiest in terms of healing. I highly recommend getting a lip tattoo if you're looking into getting one. A lot of people ask me, hey, why the fuck would you get a tattoo where nobody can see? And for me personally, my tattoo has meaning to me and me only, which is why I kind of chose to put it in a spot where nobody else would see because nobody else really needs to see it. Since it represents me and my family, that's just my reasoning. You can just go get whatever the fuck you want. Insert here. Insert here, tattooed <laughs> on your lip, get fucking daddy. If you were me though, I would get zaddy with a Z, not a D. But do whatever you want. I love my lip tattoos so much. And I just wanted to tell you guys, it doesn't take long to heal at all. It took me, I believe, two weeks. Putting Vaseline on it will definitely help with the healing process. One thing I also did want to tell you guys is don't expect to go get some detailed ass tattoo on your lip because when you get a tattoo on your lip, it's not going to be perfect. The ink will kind of disperse and spread. I'm not saying that it's going to look awful. It's just it won't be a perfect straight line as it's if it would be on your skin so therefore it's better to just get kind of more simpler tattoos which I'll show you guys mine it's just an arrow a lot of people I see will just get something written or like an alien or something like that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what mine looks like and keep in mind this is two and a half years later from when I got it and most people say that lip tattoos they don't last very long but I think mine's holding up pretty well so let me let you guys take a little peek on the inside of brown lipstick. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make a restaurant. When I was younger, I always told myself, I said, yo, <laughs> I'm gonna open up a restaurant when I'm older and I'm gonna name it the Krusty Krab. You could sell shit and people would go just because it's the Krusty Just because Krab. it's called the Krusty Krab. Like, my food could be shit. It could be ass. <laughs> but I feel like people would still want to go just because. And I would make it look like it in everything. I'd probably get a copyright and fucking sued and all that good shit. You know, at least my childhood dreams would have come true. I, I love Spongebob. Oh my god, and your parents could totally pass for Spongebob's parents. I... The inside of your lip may feel a little raw for the day after you get it. For me, it was only a day. For you, it might be more than a day. But for me, my lip just felt a little bit raw for not even a day. I mean, the next day I woke up... I was perfectly fine. Well, I know this wasn't much, and I'm so sorry that I'm such a shitty YouTuber, but on that note, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you all so very much. Step the fuck up, like Megan. Four. Thank you guys so much for 49,000 subscribers. Like, fuck, I love you guys. I hope each and every one of you guys have a wonderful, amazing, fantastic, just beautiful, awesome day or night, wherever you guys are. And as you already know, I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye, guys.